What's up everybody? I just jumped on here to do a quick video. I've been promising some people I'm in this dark hallway. It's in the middle of the night uh, and my hair is messed up. I just realized. Anyway, uh, I've been promising a couple of people that were asking about our home theater, uh, how we did one that was kind of cheap. Look, I got a cat down here making all kinds of racket. But I'm going to take you into our movie room slash studio where we do our YouTube shows and kind of show you... Um, not only some of the stuff you don't see in our studio, even though it's not even a studio, but our theater that we built or that we installed at kind of a cheap price. I'll take you in here and check it out. Let me walk you, I'm gonna flip you around. So if you're walking in here, I'm gonna go in here and shut the door because the cat likes to try to get in here. So if you look in here, this is our movie room. Uh, a lot of you that have seen the, the show, it's not a big room. I'm shooting this on my phone like normal, uh, but you can see, you see our, we got our thing. This is some of the stuff you don't normally see. Um, we got our Billy Puppet down here and our Slimer. There's a little bit of mess because I'm still reorganizing some things. I seem to be reorganizing things in the house a lot. Uh, then we got the Tiffany and Chucky. We got our Freddy. We got our Jason with his Uncle Grandpa. And I got some random st posters and stuff. So that's a lot of stuff you don't see on the, on the show. But <clears throat> what I'm actually here to talk about is a pretty cheap way to create your own theater at the house. And it's nothing fancy. It's nothing... That I invented. Uh, I did some research. We've been we've always wanted to have a in-home theater, and when the pandemic hit, um, obviously we couldn't go to the movie theater. So we kind of started thinking, how can we do it? Because we didn't really have room in the house because we turned this room into this, right? And so we thought, how could we put in a theater uh, in a different way? And 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 people have done this hundreds of times. So I'm just going to show you what I did. But we did the entire thing for probably I want to say it's about 400 bucks total. Um, and the, the one we did, um, we didn't, because we're on a budget, like a lot of people, uh, we did it over time. So we piece parted and everything either came from Amazon or from Home Depot. Uh, I don't, I can put links to what we bought, but I'm not an influencer. So I don't have, um, special links where I get stuff on there. So there's probably not gonna be any links in the video, but I'll tell you the brands of what I can remember. So anyway, so what we decided He's like, you know, obviously we have all these these videos here behind me, right? <clears throat> Turn around again. Uh, we have all the video wall, right? So there's not a lot of wall space to be able to put in anything. Uh, we have the couch and this lovely table and these like silly nonsense. This is where we shoot our show. We have our tripod. Uh, this little thing was installed. It's got figures laying on it because they were getting moved around. This is where the webcam used to sit. This thing actually just sits on the screws, pops off. To, to Everything is this was designed to break down. Uh, so anyway, <clears throat> this monitor is used during the show as well. It's a new addition, the way we shifted stuff. So that's why all this stuff got shoved back. And then I'm reorganizing. We got to build like a little table thing uh, set up. So basically uh again pardon me for the mess but basically what we did is we decided the easiest way to make a theater room is in the movie room but we want to make sure it's out of the way because we don't climb around things right so we did a very logical thing so the first thing we did was get a screen and now i wanted a hundred inch screen if i'm going to put a screen in i wanted something huge right we have a big tv in our living room so if you're going to do it why not go big? Uh, so what we did is if you look up top, you probably saw it already. Uh, we installed this big 100 inch screen. Now I made the mistake when I ordered it. Uh, I thought the water one with the remote, um, but it, this one has a remote, but it's not a um, remote control thing. It's a wired remote. So if you come over here, <clears throat> you got the cable. If you slip here, it comes from the top. There's just some little L brackets that are installed, so it pushes it out past the uh, shelf. And I got those on Amazon as well. They're adjustable. They have little bolt hooks. You just slide it back and forth. Very simple. Uh, these little um, things here, these little white thing, basically just drop the cable through it. This is the actual controller, right, which I'll use in a minute. It runs down, and then it goes behind Billy, behind these movies, in here and then it plugs in behind the wall so i didn't have to cut into the wall i didn't do anything now given i have these movie shelves here so it makes it a lot easier to hide stuff uh but if you're if you have a room like this that you might have other stuff in the room uh it can make it easier so obviously everybody knows how a screen works it's just got a simple up and down pop it open so now it drops down um when it drops down i have a certain direction where I stop uh, the movie that I look at. I kind of know where the screen is set up. So I can just flip it, <clears throat> let it go down, get it to where I want to set it up. Now, one of the issues that you run into, uh, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna turn it on just so you can see it on. Um, hopefully I didn't bang the thing. I was redoing some wires earlier. 
So I get it to kind of where I want it. Just hit stop. So now I have this whole wall is now my screen, right? Very simple. Obviously, it's no rocket science here. I'm not trying to tell anybody anything you don't know. I'm just showing you something you can do for kind of cheap. So this railing stuff at Home Depot, this, this white stuff, costs next to nothing. The screen itself, maybe a hundred bucks, if that. Um, I've seen them go off and on on sale on Amazon. Uh, came in pretty much fully intact, didn't have to do anything. Literally just mounted it. So the brackets, if you can get up here, you can see the little L bracket right here. Uh, the set of those on Amazon, I think they were like 15 bucks for the set. <clears throat> they have adjustments, so depending on how far in and out you want, literally mount the brackets, hang it up. It is a two-person job. Uh, I have my, my buddy Scott, who helps me build everything. He also helped me build these shelves. Um, he came over, so one of us could hold it, one of us could put the brackets up. It is a two-person job, but it's a very, very, very easy job. And it's just one plug and go, right? <clears throat> so then we had to make sure that the protector, I bought this first. And then once I... Um, had the extra money because like a lot of people during the pandemic, I was, was uh, working, I was teaching my classes, but I lost a lot of money in the way classes were going. So I was having to save it. So I <clears throat> bought the screen first. It sat here for a long time before I installed it. Then we were able to shift around and I don't know why I'm spinning a circle. So then I went with my projector. Now the problem is there's only about from the screen to the couch, this room, there's only about eight to nine feet and to get the full size that you really want, they recommend, I want to say it was like 14 feet, 13 feet, whatever. Uh, and you can get some super expensive uh, uh, close throw projectors where they kind of sit like right at the screen and hit it right there. I didn't really want to have that because I'm not going to have a set of permanent up. Uh, we shoot our show in here. So we have this dumb table that we use, a tripod, and we move stuff around a lot. So I got a fairly cheap projector. It's not a 4K projector. Um... I got a fairly cheap one. Walk over here. It is a Vankyo. It's a Vankyo thing. So it, the, the projector itself, uh, right here, was like a hundred bucks as well. Uh, it's actually a really good projector for its for its pricing. It's not the high end fancy thing, um, you know. But if you look from where I'm at, this is from where how far away it looks from where I'm sitting. So you can see kind of the door where the wall is. <clears throat> so. Got the projector, the mounting bracket that's behind it was also from Amazon. So the mounting bracket was like 10 bucks. The projector under $100, I want to say it was like $89.99 or some crap. Um, and then the cables you have running on here, uh, we have, which I'll get into in a minute, <clears throat> but you have your power, you have your USBs, HDMIs, sound, all that good stuff, right? Projector itself runs pretty well. Um, it actually gives me a really good picture for the price it is. Uh, now, because of the distance, I'm not getting the full 100 inch. Uh, if you notice, I didn't bring the screen all the way down. It, come, it could come down actually further. Um, I'm not getting a full 100 inch image because of the distance. I'm getting more of a probably in, I think it was an 89 to 92 which is still pretty big. But if we move and I take the setup somewhere else, hopefully I can move it further back, most likely buy a new projector by then. This was really meant to be more of my test projector to make sure it works, live with it. I could actually, I, I plan to use this one and upgrade in a few months. This one actually is pretty awesome, so I'll probably keep it for a while. <clears throat> so from there, I basically, um, we needed a sound system as well. So again, on Amazon, I probably spent more on the sound system than I did on the, these two things. Uh, the sound system was, um, I want to say I got a, like a refurbished sound system for like 180 bucks or something. Uh, and it has, if you look down low here, it has a sound bar down at the bottom. Uh, it plugs in right there where you see where Ed 209 is right here. There's a plug right behind that. The screen's plugged into that. The sound bar's plugged into that. <clears throat> the only thing I had to do was drill through uh, this video shelf here to run that cord because it was kind of big. But the power cord for the sound bar is really thin. So it runs all the way behind the shelf, behind all the movies and CDs and the nonsense. It comes behind Chucky and Tiffany, and it runs up behind these guys, up into the wall. I mean, in the wall. I didn't want to cut into the wall. So what I did is if you look here, <clears throat> there's a track on the inside Right? I can't see it on that one. I think it popped off. Let me look on this one, see if you can see it or not. <sighs> yep, not there. So there's a track behind here, right? 
that actually goes on the inside, but it got pulled because I was moving the projector. But it mounts, I mounted it inside the, the windowsill, so all the cables come up and run through that track, but it's hidden by the curtain. So now you have all your sound plugged in. So if I go back over to it, don't worry, I'm going to turn it on in a second. <clears throat> so you got your sound cord right here, right? It's a power cord. I had to buy an extension cut power cord. I bought like a 10-foot power cord. Again, on Amazon for next to nothing. That way it'd go all the way to the floor, reach the outlet. The other side would be my HDMI to plug in everything else. Again, I had to buy like a 12-foot one, so it'd go all the way to the floor, plug everything else in. Obviously, you could mount stuff up here. Uh, so with this setup, um, I obviously wanted it, uh, to be able to play the Blu-rays, 4Ks. Uh, but I also wanted to have access to fire sticks and other things. So what I did is I got a hub. It's an HDMI hub. Let me move Beavis and Butthead for you out of the way. Literally, if you look down here, a little bit mess on the cables. I'm still working on it. This thing here, it's literally just a hub like the old video game ones. Uh, you got one, two, three, and a separate one. There's a fourth one. So I have the power one, which this is the one that goes up to the projector. Then I have these three, and this one's blank. I got a fire stick hooked up, a Blu-ray hooked up, <clears throat> and then I got a secondary cord that's for plugging my laptop. So when I have the online screeners that I have to review. Um, so all of them are plugged in, and it's not even mounted to the wall. Um, the little cable tacks where you mount tacks, I put a couple in there. It holds it on the wall. It's hidden behind the couch. Nobody sees it. I have a 4K player hooked up. It's underneath the couch, which I'm not going to crawl down there, but it's underneath the couch plugged directly into that all of it's plugged into that one hdmi it's pretty simple that little adapter thing was like 15 bucks or something uh it's literally powered by one plug it's got a little remote um <clears throat> like this that remote just hit one two three or four picture which one you have so then you have you got your 4k remotes <clears throat> you got your fire stick remotes uh my surround sound system has that but it also has a subwoofer down here, which is going to go behind the couch, but I haven't put it there. And then it's got these little speakers on either side um, of the couch. And that's pretty much our whole setup. So let me see if I can flip it on real quick. Um, we added this, this room right here obviously has this window with the curtain on it. So at night it looks awesome, but during the day, couldn't really use it. Uh, so we bought this blackout curtain. Uh, the blackout curtain, I want to say, was like 20, 30 bucks. Uh, obviously, from the outside, it looks like just a plain curtain. The other side, it makes this room pitch black during the day. So I've actually been able to watch stuff in here during the day, just as though it was nighttime. It's pretty awesome. So let's see if I can get this turned on before I turn the light off. <clears throat> All right. So when it comes on, you won't be able to see the image that well. Hopefully, I didn't move it earlier. Yep, I moved it. <clears throat> so I hit the button earlier, so I moved it. Uh, hold on, let me shift it. Problem is, is I got to reset the uh, the uh, actual picture because I was moving some stuff and I reset it everything. That's the downside to setting this up. So we'll just leave it like that for now because it's not perfectly straight. <clears throat> but you're not going to be able to see it really well until I turn the light off. But <clears throat> so if you look at it, it's at an angle right now. But you can see I've got my nice big setup here, right? <clears throat> um, I'm just going to leave it on this. So I've got everything set up now where I can go to my Disney+. Plus. <clears throat> so say, so you have a nice big screen, uh, depending on how you set it up. We got the sound now. We'll turn the lights back on. I don't own the rights to everything, so um, <clears throat> I don't want to start playing stuff that I don't own the rights to. So, the, all in all, the whole thing um, ended up, like I said, cost about four hundred dollars with a little uh, tract, uh, the screen, everything else. It's a very simple setup. It's a great starter set. <clears throat> Hit the button, put the screen away, and we're back to normal. And those also, you got a behind the scenes look at our silly little YouTube show, it's literally one HD camera, which is actually set up in the garage right now because I got to teach class in the morning. Um, but now you've seen our little studio, I'm sure we'll upgrade it uh, at some point. Uh, but that's our setup for right now. Like I said, if you have any questions, uh, what things to look at, if you want me to just email you links, if you just shoot me an email, uh, there's no links on the actual video because 
this isn't a monetized video. This was just something I was doing because I had people asking me about it. Uh, so uh, for $400, you can probably upgrade. Spend probably 500 if you want. Uh, you can get a really good little setup. Uh, the, the, because the room's small, the sound system booms in here. So we get in here, you watch whatever you want, loud, explosive stuff, normal those things. So it can be done by anybody. You just piece part it, buy a few things here and there, put it together when you can. And there you have it. So hoping hoping it helps a little people if you had some ideas for that uh, or just got a joy to see nonsense that I have uh, that nobody really cares about. Uh, so anyway, that's my quick little video. I've been promising a couple of people that I would show what we did for our theater. Uh, so I got some tweaks to do, uh, some things to fix, uh, some cleaning to do. But I wanted to get it done because if I didn't do it now, I'd forget. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on our channel. Uh, tell your friends. Be sure to watch our shows. Uh, Hollywood Matrimony Live on Sunday. Go to our website, Hollywood, hollywoodmatrimony.com. Hope everybody had a wonderful night. Hope you like our little tour of this. You can also check out the tour of my Star Wars room uh, posted the other day. So enjoy it. Have a good day. Be safe. Peace.